what's up YouTube, it's ICU. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade from iOS 13 back to iOS 12. It can be any version of iOS 13 and we're going back to the latest version of iOS 12 whatever it happens to be when you're watching this video. Now, the reason I'm releasing this installment is simply for ease of use. We're going to be utilizing a tool called Dr. Phone and more or less, it is a one-click solution to go back to iOS 12. The only caveat being is that you're going to have to forfeit your data on iOS 13. However, there are a few ways around that. Down below in the description, you can find our other downgrade tutorials as well. This is a premium solution that I'm going to showcase today. And again, we're highlighting it because of its ease of use. So that does mean that you do have to pay for this solution to go back to iOS 12. Of course, though, there are free alternatives listed down below in the description, including even how to backup on iOS 13 and restore from your backup by tricking iTunes, essentially. Also, they do have a giveaway right now where you can win a free copy of it. So you might as well try to do that if you're interested in it. But let's get straight into this. Let's launch up the settings application. I'm here inside of general about. You can see when we back up here, settings, general, about. And it does confirm that we are on iOS 13 for the software version. It says 13.0. All right, so with that out of the way, Let's go back to the home screen here and we're going to jump on over to our computer. So yes, you do need a computer. Not only that, you need a Windows based PC or you need to have a virtual instance of Windows running on your Mac like I have here. I'm utilizing Parallels to run Windows 10 on my Mac. And because we are using Parallels and it is kind of fussy with connected devices and the fact that the iPod Touch is going to be entering and exiting different states, it will pop up with a few different messages letting me know to connect the iPod to either the host or the virtual machine. But now let's go ahead and launch up the utility, Dr. Phone. And we're going to click on the repair function. Now there are two different flavors here. We're interested in the advanced mode. All we have to do is just click advanced mode. This will put us back on iOS 12 and it just says to connect your device because we're already connected. It bypassed that screen immediately. It's pulled up that we do have the latest iPod touch and it automatically selected the latest firmware at the time of recording this video being iOS 12.4 for us to go back to. So we can go ahead and just click start. It will go out and download the firmware because I already have it downloaded though. It's just verifying the firmware. So once it has successfully reached out to Apple servers, downloaded the firmware, it will go through, verify it, and then it will actually perform the process on your device. So let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. All right, so you can see that it says the firmware is ready to complete. We can go ahead and click fix now, and it's going to put our iPod touch into recovery mode automatically. We don't have to do anything. It's going to do everything for us. This is why I said it's more or less one click. Again, it's doing all of this for us. And like I said, Parallels is kind of taking over and acting strange here. So we can go ahead and just close out of any of the pop-ups inside of iTunes that we receive. What happened there was it actually just took us back over to my Mac side, which I'm going to have to go over to again and just click cancel inside of iTunes there so it stops popping up in the dock. But you can see that it says it's repairing now. It's currently at approximately 18% and I'm just going to kind of let this process play through. You can see that on the iPod Touch itself, we do have a loading bar essentially and it's just going to go through and complete, and it's just going to go through and complete this process. We do have iTunes pestering us again, this time on Windows. You can go ahead and just close out of it because essentially the main process is taking place here inside of the repair functionality in Dr. Phone. So this part has been sped up. I'll be back in just a second through the magic of post-production video editing, and we'll pick this thing right back up. All right, so we're approaching the final stages here. The iPod Touch is almost done restoring or performing the downgrade process back to iOS 12. It's just going to display one more bar past this one on the device itself, which is merely the on-device consolidation step. And then from there, we can set up the device as if it were a brand new device on iOS 12, in this case being iOS 12.4. Now this entire process has been drastically sped up, as I mentioned before, thanks to editing. But it takes about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to complete in its entirety. All right, you can see inside of the Dr. Phone utility during the on-device consolidation step, 
that I talked about. It says that the repair of the operating system is complete. So we are now on iOS 12. All we have to do is just wait for the device to finish loading that progress bar there at the bottom. You can actually disconnect it from your computer now because at this point, once you receive this screen on your computer inside of Dr. Phone, you are good to go and you can go ahead and unplug that cable. So let's go ahead and wait for this bar to finish now. Okay, so here we are. You can see that we are on the main setup screen. So I'm just going to press the home button and I'm going to go through this entire process. I'll be right back. All right, so here we are, I finished. Let's go ahead and tap get started. We're going to go inside of settings. We're gonna scroll down to general followed by software update. You can see that it says we are on the latest version, iOS 12.4. And if we go back to about, it also confirms that as well. Software version, iOS 12.4. So again, I hope you guys liked this video. Probably one of the easiest ways to downgrade back to iOS 12 that I've found thus far. We're going to, of course, continue our series of downgrade tutorials moving forward into the future. So be sure to subscribe if you have yet to. Links to everything can be found below, including ways to retain your iOS 13 data, because of course we are essentially going back to a fresh build of iOS 12. All right, and until next time, this is ICU signing out.